Today on Film Ride, we're making images pretty. Welcome to Film Riot, the show takes mystery out of the effects techniques. Going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. And as of today, we've released a brand new pack to our store, which I'm insanely excited about. This is our new cinematic LUTs pack. We have 35 blockbuster LUTs, all inspired by movies we love, like Alien, Captain America Civil War, Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, Mad Max, Star Wars, Suicide Squad, The Conjuring, and a bunch more. Even some for TV, like Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad. And each of these come with a version for Alexa footage, Red footage, generic log, and standard, which is Rec. 709. So they'll work with pretty Pretty much any camera that you're using. Then we have a few black and white LUTs and a bunch of utility LUTs as well. These are LUTs that will convert log image from Alexa, Blackmagic, Canon, Red, Panasonic, Sony, Cinestyle, and even generic to Rec. 709, and some that will convert Rec. 709 to log. To make this pack, we partnered with Benjamin Lemonet, who created the other LUTs pack that I was gushing about a few months back. And since these are LUTs, you can use them in pretty much any software, since LUTs will work in almost anything. It's not specific to just Premiere or After Effects. But since we just released this pack, I figured today would be a great time to take a look at my process in polishing an image in post. Ready? Two, three, four. <laughs> Once I shot my footage and I'm in post, I go through a very similar process with my image on pretty much every project, which I do this process once absolutely everything is done. The effects, sound, music, everything is locked. Then I grade my final and locked edit. First thing I do is color correct. As I've said in a few episodes, this is just going through my shots shot by shot and balancing out the image, or often if it's in log, shifting that into more of a balanced image, which of course you could use a LUT for this like we have in our pack. But after I'm done with that, I move into perfecting that balance with power windows. Personally, I often do most of of, if not all of my grading right inside Premiere. So for me, that means adding something like Lumetri or Colorista from Red Giant. Then I create a mask around the area that I'm wanting to single out for a correction, like the sky here, track it to follow the shot, and then I can make adjustments to bring that sky out even more for a much more dynamic and pleasing shot. And I'll do this for all the areas that I'm wanting to make individual adjustments to. Next, if needed, I'll touch up the actor's face. There are two good plugins for this that I like. Cosmo, which is a $100 plugin and very simple to use. You drop it in, check show selection, and use the finder and tolerance to adjust what will be softened. Then I'll uncheck this, and right away you can see the difference. If I toggle it on and off, you can see what it's doing. So now I can adjust how much softening I'm using, adjusting my skin color and detail to dial it all in. But then if you're wanting even more control and don't mind spending an extra $100, you could look into Beauty Box from Digital Anarchy. I use this to help smooth out the prosthetic makeup on Josh for UFO Yeah, and it works amazingly well. So I'll drop it on, then grab the dropper for dark color and select the darker portion of his face, then light color and select the lighter portion of his face. Then I'll use a hue, saturation, and value range to dial it in, which as you can see, is much closer to just the areas we want. And again, we see right away what it's doing for us. We could always jack this way too high and get a pretty off-putting look, but that's not what we're going for here, so I'll drop the smoothing amount to around 20, skin detail smoothing to around 15 or 20, contrast enhance to 40, and then preserve small detail, which is exactly what it sounds like, I'll throw that one around 80%. Then twirl open sharpen, check use mask so it uses the area that we defined earlier, then add however much sharpening looks good to you. I'll go with around 30 here. And now if we toggle it on and off, you see that we have a nice subtle cleanup of the face and we're reducing some of that shininess as well. But now we're gonna take a quick break and then finish off our image. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, or innovator, Domain.com is the place to go when that next idea hits you. I know you've heard me say that the list of available domain extensions is growing, and you now have the opportunity to name your site and build your brands in ways that were never before possible. You can choose from a list of 400 plus domain name extensions like .com, .org, .design, .club. And to show you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices. When you get domain names, web hosting, and email, just use the coupon code FILMRIGHT at Domain.com's checkout. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Logo. Jumping back in, so far we have corrected our image and softened our actor's skin. Next up, I'm going to add my grade. To this, I'll throw on Lumetri, and I'm going to select a LUT from our new cinematic LUTs pack. You can see here that I have all mine set up inside the creative section of Lumetri, which we have a PDF that comes with our pack that breaks down how to install them like this. But I'll cycle through all the different looks that I can get from this pack, and without touching anything other than switching the LUT, I'm getting major shifts in color and contrast. With some shots, a few of these LUTs may be extreme or not pushed enough, so you can come here and adjust 
adjust the intensity and then tweak your image further after that to make it fit perfectly, which is what you should always do. A LUT is not a one button and done process. You should always customize it to work best with your shot. But with some of these LUTs, it's looking solid right off the bat, like with this conjuring LUT. If I toggle just the LUT on and off, you can see what it's doing, but I think I'll switch over to Harry Potter LUT and drop the intensity to around 65, maybe drop the vibrance a touch and add a bit more contrast and we have a look I'm happy with. Next, I'm gonna add Denoiser 2 again from Red Giant. This isn't a super noisy image, but there's still some small issues happening in the dark areas of the shot, so I'll add that to clean it up and I'll set the noise reduction to around 40. And then for my final step, I'm adding Film Grain back in. My favorite plugin for this is Film Convert, which is really a full color grading plugin all to itself, but I rarely use it for that. I usually just use it for the grain. So I'll apply it, then drop softness, film color, and curve all to zero, then set the amount of grain that I want and the type up here. For this, I'm liking 35 millimeter, three perf, and somewhere around 33%. So by denoising and then adding the grain back in, we get rid of all that gross digital noise and then add some subtle or not subtle, depending on what you want, grain back into the image to really tie everything back together. And like I said, Film Convert is much more than what I'm showing here. You can select different types of film stock to emulate all kinds of film, and it's one of the best of its kind. And it's crazy how much Beauty Box is doing for us. With this final look, if we toggle on and off Beauty Box, you can see how much it polishes up the skin for us and even brings out the eyes in a much more pleasing way. But there you go, my process for polishing your image. Logo. And that's it for today. Again, if you're interested in our new LUT pack, head over to our Triune store right here. Link is also in the description. This is really one of my favorite things that we've put on the store yet. I've used these LUTs on every episode in the past few weeks. I'm absolutely loving them, so definitely check that out. Also check the notes for links to all the plugins that I used in today's episode, and keep an eye out this Monday for another pack that we're releasing. This is a muzzle flash and smoke asset pack. Yes, I know, but that's it, and I'll see you guys next week when my opponent chops a stone in half and they strip me of my robe, banish me forever.